Hello everybody, welcome to the Film Pigs web show here on Geek Nation. The best web show on the internet that isn't Paris Hilton DJing in Ibiza for three million dollars. Which just happened. She got three million dollars? Yes, three million dollars for That's two painful. nights. Uh, my name is Stephen Falk, this is Todd Robert Anderson. Hi. This is Film Pigs Steve Skelton. Hello. And our guest, oh my god, is Janet Varney. Janet Varney! Yay. Janet is in so many TV shows and things that I need to look at oh. IMDb, but it's like hot in Cleveland. <laughs> I love that the that's game, the first one that you can Burning think of. Love, <laughs> Children's <laughs> Hospital, uh, uh, oh, Marin, uh, so many things. Look Key at, and Peele, yeah, and also a show um, called, uh, an FX show called You're the Worst. It's what's, the best. What's You're the Worst? Well, yeah, tell us about that. Us about You're the that. Worst is on Thursday nights at 10.30. Please watch episode six coming up for you guys. And, uh, and and Janet and Todd uh, play husband and wife. We do. We do. Yeah, and they're great. So please watch it on FX. Uh, you're, you're the worst. We're great together. Mm -hmm. They are great together. So we're going to start off um, <laughs> with, a, with a, a, a little sad bit of uh, R.I.P. Robin Williams popcorn. Yeah. Robin also Williams. Lauren Bacall. And Bacall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, you guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That was a sad sip of scotch. That that popcorn. Is. That uh, will roll right into that sad moment into something even sadder, which is uh, Rash Judgments. And what? that's where we <laughs> review the movies coming out this Friday, tomorrow, mm. based on nothing, because we haven't seen it, so based on nothing but our <laughs> own dickish opinions. Um, and uh, let's start with Todd. Oh, Todd, uh, what do you have for us? My Rash Judgment is for a movie called If I Stay. It stars uh, that. Right up your wheelhouse, yeah, right? Yeah, it's this is my kind of movie. Uh, it stars uh, the girl who was the only good part of those kick-ass movies, and what happens is is her life is crazy, um, and she doesn't know whether to choose love or a career, and then she winds up in a coma. I what? Have, I've had the same problem. Yeah, yeah. and because she, she's in a coma, she has an out-of-body experience, mm -hmm. and the movie's about her having an out-of-body experience. I don't know I, if I believe in out-of-body experiences. I suppose they could happen. There's no proof that they don't. There's no proof that there is. Um, I don't know if I went to see If I Stay, if I would stay for the oh. whole movie. Yeah, da, 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 da. Um, but, uh, but we're also never going to get the answer to that question because I'm not going to go see If I Stay. But if you like those kind of movies that make you cry because someone's almost dead and realizes their life is great because they're now almost dead and there's nothing to make you realize life is good outside of being almost dead, <laughs> then maybe you should see it. But I'm gonna, if, if, if I stay at home, will I be missing out? I don't think so. All right. Uh, I really wish you had a daughter, by the way. <laughs> and you had to go to all these movies. God. If I had to go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I got my grenades I have to follow. All right, all right. Uh, Skelton, what, what, what oh, did you review? You guys, uh, I have rash judged kink which is a James Franco produced documentary oh. it's gonna about, be good. about the BDSM scene. Oh. And it's um, specifically about kink.com, which produces a lot of those BDSM sex videos. Uh, the Do you think like James Franco is a top or a bottom? No, listen, yeah, I want to <laughs> read from the Wikipedia entry for kink. Um, about early production, mm -hmm. and it says, when filming scenes of About Cherry, which is a porno movie he was in, uh, not a po movie about porn movie that he was in, uh, at the kink.com San Francisco Armory, Franco noticed the dynamic between actors and the production crew. He noticed it. Um, he stated this interested him, as in some respects, it was a similar dynamic to that of the production at Saturday Night Live. <laughs> <laughs> it was that... <laughs> <laughs> in what way, no, shut up. Good no, Lord, Michaels more. pegged him with a no, strap on. There's, well, a lot of people don't there's know that. more. It was this that led Franco developing an interest in this aspect of the BDSM culture. Um, the other reported in, no, the other reported influence for Franco's decision to make this documentary was an unsuccessful sex tape with his girlfriend. <laughs> so. I, what does unsuccessful oh. mean? Like, that I could they mean anything. They forgot to put the tape in the camera. <laughs> I don't know. The battery ran out. It just got but, bad ratings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, the actual trailer for the documentary looks pretty interesting. 
um because it's about kind of like deconstructing kind of the the because you're the a horn dog you're and a I, yeah I, horn dog. I look at a lot of porn and i want to know what goes on behind the scenes i don't know if you do i but you <laughs> know, you're gonna find yeah. out the yeah. best part about the trailer though is there's a great shot of uh this lady who's directing uh whatever they're doing and you can just hear a lot of slapping Sorry. noises but she's just sipping on a cup of coffee and it's kind of bored <laughs> Nice. So, I don't know, it looks kind of fun. I would watch a documentary about insane lesbian penetration. Kink! Go yeah. see it, says Skelton, the, the, the crazy person. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of crazy people, Janet Varney. Uh, yes, I, uh, I would like to judge Sin City 2, the dame who should be saved. The dame, <laughs> that's a, now that's a goddamn dame. Sin, Sin City 2! She was a dame. Yeah, is exactly that, right. What is it? Yeah, all, all three of them. A dame That's, to die for. A dame to die for. Kill, it's kill for. Dame to kill for. A dame for. to kill for. Yeah, and you don't want to die for. I like to like kill for. A Listen, dame. it depends like on what character you are. Better. She might be worth killing for. She might be worth dying for. It. You don't know. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm going to see it. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I did. I certainly saw the first Sin City. I've probably seen it more than once at this point. Mm -hmm. sure. um, I hate when our guests lie to us. <laughs> what? Like you think? No, I'm, I'm glad not you didn't see it? know. You said you clarified a that you're not times. lying to us. Oh, a lot yeah, of times yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you about you. this, um, as I have in the past about everything you know yeah. about me. Hmm. Um, you know, it's artfully shot in black and white. It's uh, artfully shot. Listen, there's going to be a lot of red blood, probably. There's going to be a lot of uh, scantily clad women. Mm -hmm. um, but I do enjoy, and I, you, I'm interested in what you guys think, but I do sort of enjoy uh, how over the top Robert Rodriguez is. Um, I feel like it's okay to laugh at the cartoonish violence. Mm -hmm. um, I think his sense of humor sort of makes it okay that I do feel like it's still super misogynistic and offensive to women. <laughs> Um, I know that he's like, isn't this funny? Wink, wink. But you're like, but still. But I'm probably going to still see it. Um, also, you know, when you leave your wife for Rose McGowan, you yeah, don't have a lot of crap. You don't really on, have a leg to stand on that yeah. way. Yeah. Um, but, like, you know, I am kind of a, I'm kind of a sucker for, for next stuff. her is yeah. an exercise in misogyny somehow? Leaving your wife? Your producing partner for the, the you younger, the was talent? Like. I don't. I'm sorry, Todd. Yeah. I'm sorry. He so you say see it. I, I, you know, I'm, I, I, to be honest, I know I'll end up seeing it, so I would be an asshole if I said don't yeah. see it. So Sin City <laughs> Dames, Dame, Dame. Here come the dames. dames. Here come the Dames. The Dame, Dame Sin show. City, the Dame after tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see that. Thank you, Janet. I, 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 I would be uh, remiss to, um, I, I forgot your number one geek cred, this is Geek Nation after all, oh, mm -hmm. is yeah. Korra. Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra. Yeah. The Legend of Korra. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure all of you n fanboys know her from that. Yeah, um, it is the opposite of the sexism I just said I was going to take myself to <laughs> by paying for a movie ticket, thus in enabling everyone to continue making Look, those Look, we're of all movies. we're all both sides, you guys. It's all yeah. a balance. It's we're, hard. We're complicated. To, we're it's complicated hard to people. choose between yeah. what's right and what's entertaining. Speaking <laughs> of choosing between what's right and what's entertaining, <laughs> we here uh, got our hands since uh, Janet's such a uh, acting juggernaut Ooh, on every, a, um, everywhere. a indie film that she oh, is no. uh, recently filmed. Um, Wonderful. It's a it's a, a a sequel of sorts, an unauthorized sequel. Of a, of I think it's like a spin-off. Spin -off. Side quill. Side, side, side quill. But that doesn't uh, mean that it's not the same quality, because no. I think oh, that no. implies... It, it's the same yeah. quality, and it's also canon, so it's actually part of the same world. But uh, So we got our hands on this trailer. I think we should... Do you want to watch it? I'm excited. What should we do? Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh! Roll it! In the south of California, her food was unrivaled. She had the most popular restaurant in all the land. You dare serve this here? Our food is not a limp, passionless affair. Our food should be, should be hard, throbbing, moist at the tip, ready to explode in your mouth. I'm uncomfortable. I want that asparagus inside me. Until someone new came to town. <laughs> Welcome to Bland White Flower Restaurant. Do you have a reservation? Oh no, uh, how long's the wait? Two hours. Oh God, I'm hungry now! Well, uh, okay, that's okay. Let's just go to the new place that just opened next door. New place next door? Oh, uh, there's a new place just next door. 
I think it's tacos. Tacos? I love tacos. I love tacos. <laughs> tacos. <sighs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, hello, ladies. Uh, oh, please uh, come in to my new restaurant, Mexotic Deliciousness. Oh, oh, it's okay. I'm so hungry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> How dare you? What? How dare you open a restaurant literally one foot away from my restaurant? I got a deal on the lease. Oh, you are going to be so sorry. I'm calling immigration. I'm from El Paso. Texas? Ah! Ay, ay, ay. I hope the angry white lady gets over her racism and realizes that if we join our culinary skills, our food can live together in peace and harmony. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Come here, babies. Oprah Winfrey and Steven Spielberg, presenters of The Hundred Foot Journey, bring you another story that makes white prejudices seem whimsical and maybe even romantic. He was the best chef in all of El Paso. Ginger. Oh, goddamn ginger. I didn't know it could get any worse than it already was. <laughs> Why, God? Why? Shoot a camera. <laughs> Who's my little ginger? Who's my little ginger? Who's the best chef? Who's the best chef? Who's the best chef? <laughs> I love you. We may all look different on the outside, but inside our mouths, our taste buds are all the same. Okay, now watch. We have a burrito, right? And we have a pancakes, right? You love pancakes? I love burritos. Let's do this. Let's put my burrito inside oh. your pancakes. What? Okay. Try it. Mmm. This food is making me forget about my aggressive racism. <sighs> yes, yes. The One Foot Journey. Mmm. <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna eat that, you put your nose all over it. That's gross. Your order is coming soon to a theater near you. Now stop being such a bigot. All right, wow, that looked, that, uh, I would yeah. take my mom to that. Yeah, I would no, too. It's a feel good uh, for everyone, uh, so you yeah. can feel things. I don't wanna say that it's the best work I've ever done, so I need you guys to say it's the best work I've ever done. And your really uh, work, work made me feel really good about my own racism. Huh. <laughs> it's a, you feel it's okay, right? I and felt like okay. it was okay and, and yeah. I can get over it eventually if I meet the right guy. I'm so proud of you right now. Thank you. Yeah. You've come along. Well, I'm bit. proud of you guys right now for <laughs> watching the film pigs on Geek Nation. Um, this episode had it all, mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah. Um, had introductions. Had that. Mm -hmm. Had um, popcorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Had jokes. A lot of jokes. Had banter. Yeah. Had rash judgments. So many. Yeah. It had plugs. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, it had um, it had unauthorized trailers. Unauthorized yeah. trailers. Completely unauthorized. It had a, a weird moment between Todd and Janet. Mm -hmm. um, it was, it was if tense. you want more weird <laughs> tense moments between Todd and Janet, you should watch You're the Worst That's on really FX true. Thursday nights at 10:30 after yeah. Married. Um, so we, now we had two plugs. We had two plugs. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Um, and uh, I'm wearing, I have hair plugs. Uh, oh, uh, and plugs. we have, but we haven't plugged that you can buy my movie Fuzz Track City on DVD right now. Fuzz, oh. Fuzz Track City uh -huh. DVD, great, another indie film. Yeah. It's uh -huh. fantastic. Yeah. You can buy it. Yes, yeah, so you can. Uh, go online and, and see that, and you, also. Oh, you can also uh, <laughs> you can buy uh, uh, the movie Big Ass Spider on DVD and oh. Blu-ray. Why? Who's in that? Uh, the guy who was in Janet's movie, Lombardo Boyer, he, he like, if he was here, it'd be awesome because oh. like, yeah, you I mean, could see him like put out. Oh my god, I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan. But anyway, uh, like, so he's he's moving on from that high hope. Hold on, what? 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 Oh my what gosh, the... he's, 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 he's here. Yeah. Lombardo. He's here somehow. Woo. Unbelievable. Well, I'm here for the scotch. This episode. I mean, popcorn. 
This yeah, episode is just so Don't full. Like like um, uh, I oh want to thank uh, Lombardo, of course. Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, thank Big you. Ass Spider out on DVD. Uh, Todd Robert Anderson, Steve Skelton, myself, Stephen Falk, <laughs> and of course, Janet Varney. Janet the Varney. lovely, multi talented, uh, the creator of SF Sketchfest. So many credits, I can't even, but I, I'd like to go back, but that no, was only I like, we, I, I went back good. to like, the game was like 2011, and there's good. been a lot of, <laughs> lot of years between. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, from me to you, I'd like to thank you for watching Film Pigs on Geek Nation, and until next week, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations.